Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for a big announcement. <laughs> yes, I know I've been teasing it for the past couple of weeks, and the past month and so, but it's finally here. Well, it's not here, but it's finally going to be here. My next big tournament, the one where all of you get to take part in. Um, last time, well, I sort of entered and won. Get the champagne, because our host has won his own tournament. Normal FOG's theory tale has come to an end in a disappointing start for our host stranger. So yeah, hopefully, I'm hoping to be a bit more challenged this time. <laughs> and yes, now I'm going to go through how it's going to work. And there are changes and there are going to be a lot of change differences this time. I did take into account like that maybe, maybe the handicaps I did on certain dinosaurs might have been a bit too harsh. So I have taken that into account and have made some slight adjustments in order to make it a bit more balanced and fair. But of course it's RNG at the end of the game, it doesn't really matter. But still, you know, just got to try and make it legit. Right, under the rules, and there are a lot more rules and a lot of explaining, so I would recommend watching this whole video before submitting your entry, okay? We clear on that? Right. New tournament. Up to 32 players will be allowed to enter, like normal, but I'm expecting a few more this time because I've got more subscribers than I usually than I did in my last big tournament. So, yeah, if mo if that is the case and I get more entries, then the tournament will be 48. And, well, I don't think I will, but if I get even more than 48, it'll be 64. Um, this tournament will be unique because it'll be like the DS game. It'll be a free versus free format. No tag teams, no swapping out. It'll be just like, yeah, it'll be just like the DS game, like I said. And well, here, depending on how many entries I get and how many combatants there'll be, the, the format will be the following. So if it's 32 players, it will be four groups of eight with the top two advancing to the knockout rounds. If it's 48 players, we'll have eight groups of six with the top four advancing. And again, and lastly, 64 players, 8 groups of 8, top 3 advance, 4th and 5th will have a playoff, and the winner of that playoff will go through. Rule 4. Any dinosaur will be allowed to enter. Although, there, as I said earlier, there will be certain conditions for certain dinosaur types. And you will see those in a minute. And, well, as, as I've done before, if, enough, if not enough players enter, which I suspect will may happen, I'll just put in random teams. i got a few in my joggling in my brain. Okay, Rule 6. Yes, this is, a, this is a big change because I will allow a one of the following in a team. One egg card or one multiple dinosaur card. Oh, actually, not that's a bad example, not that one. <laughs> Hang on. That one. Hot Tyrants. But I, I am going to forbid any of these cards that have dinosaurs of different elements. So, for example... The continental egg cards. I will not accept those. So the egg, the combined cards I will be allowing is fire, water, lightning, earth, grass, wind, secret, secret two, a uh, hot tyrants card. Uh, I think there's a thunder card and Dino Man Stegosaur card thingy. I will also not accept Reese's move card thingy because that's just annoying. So yeah, any of those combined cards I will accept one of. Right, rule 7. Like all my previous tournaments, cards that are built in characters and moves are forbidden, so any of the McDonald's promo cards will be like banned because they, they have built in character, move cards, stuff like that. And same old, same old, following move cards are forbidden, life force swap because it's bloody OP, and death fire because again it can one shot. Although I was, I was really tied on add really wanted death fire i really wanted to add it into the into the pool but i just could not find a proper way to balance it i mean yes i'm allowing black t-rex but that's the black t-rex black t-rex isn't the issue the issue with this move is dinosaurs that have really high technique like super eocarcaria that like death fire could be really exploitable and i just could not find a way to balance it and balance it enough so that people would still want to use it so for now it is going to get it is staying banned okay yeah and then i'll place all the combatants in the relative groups when the deadline is passed and that deadline will be the january the 10th 2021 
After that, I will accept no entries. If you do want to enter, I recommend leaving a comment down on this video, this video only. Okay, just this video. Or you can email me, my email address in the description below. Or if you have Discord, you can message me over Discord. Again, link in the description. If you do leave a comment on one of my videos, please leave it in this one. Otherwise, I just won't accept your entry. Moves will be RNG generated. 1 to 4 will be rock, 2 to 5 will be paper, and 3 to 6 will be skizzers. Okay, now here's the new rule that I've just done recently in the water washout tournament. So if a move is removed by an effect such as shockwave, the dino who used that move will always, next round, will always go the move that, the, that it cannot lose to. So, as an example, say it was Spiny against Terry, Spiny used shockwave on Terry, Terry loses his scissors move, then Spiny next round will always go paper. And then the other guys will be, RNG, will be randomly generated, like normal. Okay, I know it is tough to explain, but I think you'll get the gist of it. Because, yeah, I wanted this rule, because it's one thing I just did not take into account, is what would happen if a move gets removed, so... And if it's RNG-based still, it kind of... It kind of does take away the advantage that Shockwave is supposed to give you. So hopefully we'll see a bit more of move nullifying this time. Right, now, onto the fun stuff. The team format setup, so... Certain conditions for each dinosaur. And a couple of examples here, so... Yeah, this should be self-explanatory, but Dino 1 will be your first Dino, Dino 2 will be a second, Dino 3 will be a third. Okay, Dino 1 can be your no a normal dinosaur, damn it, can be a normal dinosaur, an egg card, a combined card, an anime dinosaur, I am putting them in a separate group, so, you know, that'll be Chomp, Ace, Paris, Terry, Spiny, Tank, Gygus, Armadus, Maximus, those are what I consider anime dinosaurs. And I am excluding the armor dinosaurs from that because they have their own category. So any of the anime dinosaurs except ones with armor. And alpha dinosaur. Okay, Dino 2 can again be another can be a normal dinosaur, a super dinosaur, a secret dinosaur, black T-Rex, an alpha dinosaur, or an anime dinosaur. And then Dino 3 can pretty much be anything other than an egg card. Or combined card. So it could be Super, Armoured, Black, T-Rex, Secret, Alpha, Normal, or Anime. Obviously there'll be certain conditions, so you'll have, you'll have to pick wisely, so you can't just have like... Well, you can have three Alpha Dinosaurs, but you can't have like two Black T-Rexes, obviously. And yeah, I've just put some examples here, down below, just to give you some little... Just, just so you can feel your way into it. So we have Myosaurus, Super Shant, and Dinonychus, Alpha Suko, Black T-Rex, Super Diceratops. Dilo, Super Mono, and Carno with Dino Tector. Right, now onto the conditions for each dinosaur. We'll start with the easy one, the armor dinosaurs, and there are some changes. So, like before, you can only have one per team. But this is the big change. If an armor dinosaur gets off its ultimate move, so i.e., Ultimate Thunder, Spectral Lancer, Omega Phoenix, moves like that. Next round will be a tie. So instead of the opponent getting a free critical hit like it was last time, the next round will be a tie. It will always be a tie unless the armored dinosaur's HP is in the red or the opponent has two dinosaurs left. So basically, if you kill, for example, if you're Brontokins, you kill your opponent, second dinosaur with Bront using Spectral Destroyer, next round will be a tie. Unless Brontokins' health is in the red, in which case... It will just be RNG like normal, okay? And yeah, another rule, Armor Dino must go in third, and as I, sh I showed that earlier. And if you do use an Armor Dinosaur, the other dinos cannot be a secret dinosaur, Black T-Rex, or Super Dinos with more than 1,200 strength. Yes, it is a bit of restrict restrictive, but I still think you can build a good team. You know, I, I, do, I do like a bit of variety. I don't want the same things over and over. It, it kind of gets boring. I mean, I, I was considering just having a rule where, like, if someone else enters this dinosaur, no one else can use it. But that's a bit unfair, in my opinion. You know, you should use anything. That's the whole point. Okay, and again, if you use, if you use an armor dinosaur, any normal dinosaur used must have less than 1,800 strength. And like normal, 
Like before, I will activate armor when I'm able to. Right, that's armor dinosaurs done and dusted. Next up, we have the secret dinosaurs, and these are these have slightly changed because this time I am allowing two per team. You can have two of them. However, if two of them are used, the other dinos cannot have a strength greater than 1600, and egg cards and combined cards cannot be used. So that pretty much stops them from using armor dinosaurs and black T-Rex. But you can still use like a super dino with 1600 or less strength. So not as restrictive, because I don't think secret dinosaurs need it. And rule three, if one is used, other dinos cannot be armor or super dinos with strength higher than 1800. Actually, that should be 1600. My mistake. So that's pretty, that's pretty much self explanatory That's pretty much easy for the secret dinos. Okay, now for Black T-Rex, which has received a bit of a change. Um, you're not allowed to use moves including Firebomb, Flare Sword, or Death Fire for its Scissors move, since it has built-in Death Fire. But you can use a normal move. So I am allowing people to pick a Scissors move for Black T-Rex this time. However, if Death Fire does activate and resolve, if the opponent goes down to their last dinosaur, then their opponent will get a free hit that will always beat their critical move. So say for example, Black T-Rex comes in, kills your second dino, your third dino comes in, his, your third dino's critical move is paper, then your dino will get a scissors hit, get a scissors off. And last but not least, if used, other dino cannot be armor or super dino with more than 1800 strength, but you can use a secret dino. Well, actually, you can't, because... <laughs> Read, my own, read your own rules, Strange. Read your own rules. Well, you can't actually use secret dinos because you're not allowed to use dinos with 1600 or more strength. Right, now, on to the complicated ones. The super dinosaurs. Um, not too much of ch has changed, but I will go through it quickly. Only one super dino may be used per team if that super dino is either Eocarcaria or Therisniosaurus. If super fairy or super Eocarcaria is used, other dinos cannot be super, armor, black T-Rex, egg, or combined cards. Because these two are, in comparison to the other super dinos, a lot more powerful. Uh, Awaken mode can only be used once per dino per match. I think that's, that's mandatory anyway. Uh, super dinos, again, like before, cannot use the following moves. Crimson Flame, Neptune Stream, Final Thunder, Gaia Mountain, Dino Force, or Air Raid Storm. Because those are controlled by me and, you know, human error and such. And I don't want that to happen. Right, now the really complex rule, which is kind of similar to how it was before. So if a player enters a super dino, that player must state the number of times that this icon by here will appear before they want me to activate the awaken mode. So, for example, if you want me to activate awaken mode on free, then I will activate it on this icon here when it appears for a third time. So yeah, it's basically the same as before. So I, ho I hope you can wrap your heads around this all. Take into account all the restrictions and stuff and all the team. I think you could still build a solid team with what you got. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing all your entries. And if you do want to enter, as I said earlier, you can either comment down below on this video, email me or message me on Discord. And I would like to say a Merry Christmas. And this is Strange Gamer, signing out.